Few feelings in gaming are quite like launching a mini nuke from a fat man. Today we'll be covering locations and guides and how to maximize your chances of finding them throughout the Commonwealth. Firstly though, we need to do a weapons test. This poor mole rat has volunteered. The cinematics when launching one is pretty much one of the best feelings. You, ju you just don't get anything else in gaming just quite like this. So. Where are we going to find lots of them? Well, firstly, you'll want points in Scrounger here. All the way up to level 3 should pretty much suffice to maximize your chances. Throwing in extra points in luck will also just increase your fortune of finding maybe 3 or 4 in a box of ammo, which again is an amazing haul. When it comes to sellers, certain high level gun vendors will have them in the inventory, or if you build emporiums in your settlements, you can also buy them from there. Now I will be moving on to the physical locations where you can guarantee you can find some. First up is the robotics disposal ground just east of Sanctuary. It's the earliest mini nuke you can find in the game and it's just at the entrance behind these tires. Once you pick it up you will need a launcher so we'll also need a fat man. And the easiest place to pick one up again is here. Now once you do mole rats will appear and they'll be the only enemies in this area for you to deal with. Sometimes you can get quite lucky and maybe find some stuff in the trunk here. But we'll move on to satellite station Olivia which is just east and we'll get our next one. You'll have to deal with all the raiders of course occupying this place but once you get down into the bunker it's as simple as unlocking the guard terminal and opening the intel room which will give you mini nuke number two. Our next one is directly south. We're going to Lexington. Next up is Lexington where the raider on the catwalk tends to have a fat man and a mini nuke. If you get to him before he uses much of the ammo you could maybe pick up more than just one. A behemoth does spawn here and he will regularly use it on him or even some of the ghouls in the area. But there's an even easier one right over here at this Pawalski shelter. Inside you can find the mini nuke in the arms of a soldier. Take it off him because you're going to get much more use out of it than he did. The Jalbert brothers disposal is up next and for some rads you can trade it for a mini nuke which is located just amongst all the radioactive barrels here. And that'll give us yet another one. The next one's not even that far away west right over to the lonely chapel of the federational stockpile. Whether you choose the back door of the Lonely Chapel or all guns blazing through the stockpile itself, you'll have to end up here at Red Tourette, to which you will need the password for the stockpile itself. Once inside, the minion you can be found just over here behind the trunk, giving us yet another one. Next up is Outpost Simonia. Now, most of you may know that the main raider here, Boomer, carries a fat man and potentially a mini nuke or two if you don't let him use it. But did you know that there's one just sitting here, right in the middle of the field? I did not place this here. It is just found here. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's go grab another one. What's Consumer Electronics is up next. The mini nuke is upstairs in a safe. So just enter the building, walk up this set of stairs, and you'll be able to lockpick through a security gate. The mini nuke is just over here on top of a pile of cash. Next up is the Malden Center. Once you arrive here, you should normally find synths engaged with raiders. Fight your way all the way to the end of the dungeon. And when you find the room where they're engaged with the raiders, you'll find the mini nuke underneath Helter Skelter here, hidden in the rubbish pile. An alternative way to get mini nukes is also super mutant. So if you ever see a suicider and you've got a long range weapon. <laughs> You can sometimes kill him and get the nuke off him. However, if he blows up, you'll just get nuclear material. Either way, it's a win, but you can farm them. So anywhere you know of super mutants and suiciders, go and try and get yourself a nuke. The town of Salem is up next. Its mini nuke is located directly at the top of the chapel in the middle of the town. Found directly underneath the terminal that you'll use to activate all of Barney's turrets. So you can probably kill two birds with one stone when you're in the area. Just a little way south, it's the King Sport Lighthouse. The Children of Adam have set it up and there is a nasty glowing one up in the lighthouse. But once you take care of the glowing one, you can get yourself a nice mini nuke. 
Although in my case, if I just ask very nicely, he'll move out of the way and give me the mini nuke. Thank you, bloated one. Next up is Dumb Witch Boars, because creepy places have plenty of mini nukes. It's probably the most you can find in one location so far in this video. So uh, there's a total of three to be found, two at the very end and one about halfway through the dungeon. So fight your way through all the raiders and get right down to the entrance. And make your way down to station, I think it's three, whatever one that you find Bedlam just at the bottom of the big open pit. I was right, it was station three. So. Drop straight on down, or for most of you, is take the stairs if you don't have the free fall legs. And you can find the mini nuke just hiding up here on the uh, sort of the southwestern side. It does require a wee bit of jumping, but you can find it just at the top here. As for the next one, we'll have to go a little bit deeper into the bowels of this mine. So pass by all the hallucinations and all the way to the final part. Dumwich. And once you see this bit, you're pretty much in the right place. Be careful of all the ghouls, though. You'll want to start swimming all the way down here into this little bit. And not one, but two mini nukes, making for a total of three in the one location. Next is the Revere Satellite Array. Be careful when using explosives, as mini nukes can just be sent flying and be very difficult to obtain later on. This one is just at the edge of this pool of blood that I highly recommend you don't drink from. Next, head to Crypt Manor. You'll probably be coming here to clear it out as a settlement anyway, so fight to the roof, get yourself the key in the dresser, and make your way down into the basement here. Once you clear the basement out, the mini nuke is just sitting over here on the sofa. Just having a bit of a chill. Next up is the floating raider fort known as Libertalia. You'll have to fight your way through numerous amounts of raiders for this one. Get right up to the top there to the captain's quarters. I should mention even to get here that the person, the main one of the raiders out there has a fat man and a mini nuke. So be sure to pick that up. But you, you'll think, figure that out. There is a really awesome legendary shotgun, but we don't want that. We want the mini nuke that's in here to the right. Next on our list is the East Boston Preparatory School. This is probably one of the best place mini nukes I've ever seen. It's found on the first floor as part of some science experiment, but do be careful, there is a mine directly behind it, and if you trigger it, it will send the mini nuke flying, and you mightn't be able to find it again. Next is the Boston Airport. You can pick this up before the Pudwin even arrives, so it's uh, just above the workshop directly up above how you get to it is up to you but we've got another mini nuke for the collection next up is the basement of cabot house now you will of course need to finish the quest line with them but once you do you'll be able to pick up the mini nuke in the basement once inside head straight down to the basement here and you can pick up the mini nuke just sitting in the corner Heading on over to the bad TFL regional office, we'll find a fat man and a mini nuke inside one of the locked lockers here. You can find the key, but a simple novice door stands between you and the mini nuke. The next one is available at Bunker Hill, but only during the quest Battle for Bunker Hill, as that's the only time you're able to access the utility bunker, which can be found just over here. When you get involved in the main battle scene here, it's just at the back between some crates. This one at the Charlesview Amphitheatre will require you to be a little bit sneaky because if any of them find out that you took it, eh, they will not be happy. But it's just in here over to the left, underneath the bed. Next is the Mass Fusion Building. This mini nuke can be found on the fifth floor. The great thing about this mini nuke is that you can not only get the strength bobblehead just whilst you're here, it's over in this room and doesn't require you to be in or to do the quest which you need to get to the higher level. So that's pretty neat. Now head on over to the Massachusetts State House. And once you've fought through all the mire lurks and raiders, you can pick up the mini nuke in the final room sitting on this nice bookshelf before exiting out. Just a little north now to the vault Tech Regional HQ. Once you end up down in the basement here, we can find the mini nuke in one of the best placed 
it's so cool. Uh, someone was trying to plunger it down the toilet. It's hard to beat something like that. Next is Fort Strong. An interesting fact about Fort Strong is that you can actually peer through here and you can see a mini nuke. Well, a fat man more like. But there's no way to access this, so what you're seeing here, without commands or mods, you'll never be in this part of the fort. It seemed to be that when the Brotherhood occupied it, the Elder Maxon says that they're meant to have some troops here, though that never occurs. What should have happened is they should have occupied it, you know, there would have been Brotherhood troops here, and this place would have changed, allowing you access up to there, but of course that just was cut uh, before the end of the game. But inside General Brock's room, you can get a mini nuke just displayed over here. After all, they were kind of designed here. The real treasure is in the sub basement, however, where you can find not one but two mini nukes, making Fort Strong on a similar level to the likes of Dumwich. Although it looks like there should have been plenty more mini nukes sitting around here. Plenty more in each of these boxes of mini nukes. Awesome. So, uh, where did I get my 100 mini nukes? Console commands? No, I wanted to use them here. <laughs> so yes, that is Fort Strong. Next is the DB Technical High School, where you can find yet another mini nuke. Once you make it to the book return terminal, it's just over here to the left amongst some bookshelves and nothing else suspicious at all. Also, it should be noted that when the Pudwin arrives, there's four in its armory, and if you do a wee quest for Elder Maxon, you can also get a spawn of mini nukes, which is pretty awesome. So bear that in mind when the Brotherhood arrive in your playthrough. Off to the combat zone next. The one in the combat zone is also pretty cool where it's located. Of course, sneaking in here isn't exactly ah, an option. Concludes. Now head up to the back of the viewing gallery here and you'll find the mini nuke sitting nicely on a chair, enjoying all of the festivities. Heading on over to Big John Salvage. Plenty of cyber mutants here for you to deal with, but we want to get right up to the top of that trailer. Hopefully in one piece. Once up here, it's just over to the left, inside of the fridge. And I'm sure this super mutant warlord won't mind me just taking it. And not too far away, just at the South Boston Military Checkpoint, we can find yet another mini nuke. This one is located just in this little secure area down by the corner. And normally with some X01 power armor, so not a bad haul. There it is, right there. The only thing between you and it is this expert terminal. Get it unlocked. And you can claim both the armor and the mini nuke. Next is the castle. Obviously the armory is quite famed for having a lot of items. Mini nukes is certainly one of them. So clear it out. And you can pick up not only the mini nuke, but everything else that you can find in the armory. I'm bass. I really like the shamrock tap house. But what I like even more is where they place the mini nuke. So this one can be found just upstairs at the billards table, but where do you see how it's been placed? That's, it's so cool. I, I love things like that. A little further out of the way is Spectacle Island. Once you fast travel in, just go right into the house and the mini nuke is sitting directly over here. Incredibly handy, isn't it? You'll need it, especially when you go south for the luck bobblehead. At the wreck of the FMS Northern Star, you can get the agility bobblehead as well as a mini nuke in that wooden building. So you'll have to fight through the whole ship in order to get to it. The mini nuke can be found in the final room on top of a wooden crate here beside the terminal. As for the bobblehead, if you're interested, it's just out here leaning on the edge. Next up is another firefight. This one's at Quincy. Once you fight through the town, make it onto the freeway all the way to the top. You can find the mini nuke right here, normally next to a rather nasty raider called Clint. Over to the Gunners Plaza now. Once you fight through all of them and get to the recording studio, you'll find it just sitting by the fridge. Pick up the small guns bobblehead before turning your attention over to the fridge where you can get the mini nuke. Now head over to the Coast Guard Pier. This one is found 
just over beside the meat bag. Right behind it, in fact. Now, go on over to the Mass Pike Tunnel East. You want to fight through the raiders and enter in via this door here. Once you get into the middle of the tunnel, take a right towards the northern side and you'll find this old generator room, normally crawling with ghouls. And over here, you can find another mini nuke. If you're willing to do a wee bit of stealing, then the Diamond City Market might be the place for you. Visit Arturo, but you, wanna, you don't want to buy anything off him. Oh no, you want to go into his house, but be secretive about it. Once you sneak past Arturo and he doesn't know you're here, Pick up the mini nuke sitting on his desk. Now go to the wreck of the USS Riptide. And when you get here, you can find the mini nuke just at the front of the boat, hiding in the debris. Sometimes they're just sitting in plain sight. Now just a short trip north to the CIT ruins. It's found in the rotunda here. And I have absolutely lost count as to how many mini nukes we've picked up. Fun fact about them, they're the heaviest ammo type for any of you that play survival. Although I know Plenty of you probably already knew that. I actually never knew this one existed either. It's just over here to the left and you can find it again. Just blend it in to the debris pile. Once you complete the quest reunions and you return to the Cambridge Police Station, on the roof you'll find a mini nuke. It's normally sitting over here in this corner above some metal crates. So another place you can visit. Next up is Vault 81. You can find the mini nuke in the secret portion near the Broodmother's Den. Once in the secret portion, go right to the back to this tilted over, or toppled locker and pick up the mini nuke. Do be careful if any of them bite you though. As you know, uh, you won't be able to get rid of that disease and it will permanently lower your health. Not a great trade, albeit. In Good Neighbor, if you want to be extra sneaky, you could pick up the one that is directly behind Cleo. I'm not sure how you do it, although I suppose if you just pick it up and you decide to take it elsewhere, you could certainly just use it. I suppose that's one way to do it. Once you arrive at the mass fusion disposal site, just go to the back of the digger here. And inside of this tire is yet another mini nuke. Now, again, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult in order to, uh, you know, pick it up. But I'm sure you can uh, dislodge it through a bit of persuasion. Apparently this tire is somehow indestructible. Now at Fort Hagen here we can get ourselves a few more, although you will probably be best doing the reunions quest as that's how you can get into the armory to get the second one. Go in either through the parking lot or you can go through the roof. Once you make it all the way to the armory during the reunions quest, unlock the master terminal and once you gain access into it, you'll be able to pick up a fat man and a mini nuke. Don't know where I got two from. I think I got this place confused with Fort Strong. Anyways, once you've completed this, we'll be going to the Boston Mayoral Shelter next. In order to gain access, you will have to use the terminal up here. And uh, once you use it, We'll be able to access the elevator and we can go get our next mini nuke. From this point, your aim is to get to the basketball court and, well, let's just say you should be heavily armed for this encounter. The mini nuke is just tucked away here in the generator room of the basketball court. And when I said you should be heavily armed is, well, this we encounter. Just not the thing you ever want to see. And the fat man that you would need to pick up if you don't have one on you is here. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy that. Time to go to the glowing sea. We're at the abandoned shack. It's close to the Atlantic offices and the federal uh, supply cache. And uh, it's only called this until you open up the uh, K21B installation hatch. Once you do that and you're inside the facility, you'll want to make it all the way into the main portion before dropping right down although you'll probably want to do that a bit uh, a bit easier if you don't have free fall legs or power armor you'll just be in the middle of all these guys although you can pick up some pretty neat armor whilst you're down here the mini nuke itself is just tucked away underneath the stairs very easy to miss 
Next up is Virgil's Laboratory. This is at the bottom left corner of the map, the furthermost location in that direction. Once you get to it, of course, and you get inside, it's just tucked away here underneath the shelving unit. Special shout out to the Sentinel site. You won't be coming here until you're doing Liberty Reprimed, but if you're in the area, you can pick up the mini nuke inside of the room of nothing but nukes. Look at them. Look at the amount of them. Do you imagine if you could fit that in one of the artillery pieces or something? Nah, you'd probably level the city. That's probably why it's not an option. Okay, so green tech genetics cannot be accessed until you're doing a certain quest, but the mini nuke can be found just at the end of the dungeon. So this is the very end point, and the fat man is on top of the stairs, but you want to go under the stairs, as this is where you can find the, yeah, the mini nuke. Quite, uh, quite out of the way, isn't it? Anyway, pick it up, and uh, obviously don't be sure not to drop it. Damn it! Now we're heading back to Lexington because we want to be super thorough here and the switchboard is next. You won't be getting in here until you're doing the quest Tradecraft. Um, so just west from Lexington you can find this little sewer pipe that uh, has a little hidden door behind it. Once in, unlock the terminal, that'll open the door and work your way through the dungeon all the way until you reach the vault. It's at the very end, and you should normally find a synth leader trying to get into the vault. Let your companion deal with that, and once you're inside, you'll be able to pick up a mini nuke over here on the right, bringing us up to a grand total of a lot, a lot of mini nukes. All right, we have a few more places left to do in the DLC, so let's head over. I don't have one to show you, but if you ever find one of those eye bots, which will, you know, if you ask it to go retrieve a certain ammo type, send it for mini nukes, and uh, you can go to the location and pick up quite a few. Now we are in the Ticonderoga safe house. Of course, you'll have to progress with the railroad or another faction in order to actually make it to this place. Terminal should open this. As this will be locked. But once you do and you make it up to the top floor, once you're inside with all the railroad people, go right to the top floor and over here, it can be found in a little storage room. The fun continues in Far Harbor where at Zephyr Ridge Camp, you can find a raider that has a fat man and two mini nukes and not just that, he actually tends to respawn quite a bit. The only thing you'll have to deal with is the, uh, the possible glitchiness of trying to get up the stairs. I know, out of all the things in Fallout to have the problem, those stairs, they, they're, they're difficult. But there's a mini nuke already sitting here and uh, yeah, you just need to uh, be careful of, <sighs> is it you? It is you. Can I pickpocket you? No, but we are fat men. Well, fat, fat man brothers, fat men. Is that the way it would go? Ah. Anyway, he tends to have uh, two mini nukes on him, including the one sitting here. So it's nearly three. Provided he doesn't get the shot off with the first one. Long range sniper bullet might be the answer. All right, let's go to the next place. If you want an even stranger mini nuke, then just go east of Zephyr to the Radiant Crest Shrine. When you approach it and just admire all the weirdness, you can grab the mini nuke sitting on top of the crates here. Or, well, barrels. Next, head over to Northwood Ridge Quarry, actually just south east of the Radiant Crest Shrine and then once you get into the main sh shack here, the Raider one, uh, just over by the mini nuke. You can also find the Northwood Quarry note if that's something you're looking. I said Raiders, they're trappers. Yeah, same thing I guess. We're now in Nuka World for one mini nuke. This is found at Dry Rock Gulch right at the top of the Lookout Tower and you can also get mini nukes from the Nuka Cade machine. So once you get to the top of this very, very tall tower, there's a wee mini nuke and nuka cola wild just sitting. And from here, you can observe the amazing sights that Nuka World has to offer. But that's not all. I have one last mini nuke. It's not like the rest. What do you see this? So if you remember when we were in Fort Strong, you could see all the containers open 
with the mini nuke and pieces. And if you're a settlement builder and you like decorating, the Gorski cabin might have something incredibly unique for you. You see, Gorski was trying to destroy the electrical pylon outside and he decided to use a mini nuke for it. Now, once you pass Wayne himself here, you can find some of the most unique pieces in the game. Two mini nuke beryllium caps, a detonator shell and a hemisphere core as well as the stabilizer fins at the back. It's the only place you can find these, you can't pick up the ones at Fort Strong. They are completely unique. They do scrap, so if you want to kind of, you know, make sure they don't uh, get used uh, and then you can display them as, uh, as something neat in your settlement. Now, this video was a little different than ones I normally do, but hopefully that covers every spawnable mini nuke. Well, there might be a few. It's easy to miss. There's quite a lot of them in every corner. I've documented every one that I've personally found and knew of, as well as any I could find on the wiki and certain guides. So, I hope your inventories are full of mini nukes. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.